Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and welcome back to the next episode of the Fortnite Mythbusting series, whatever you guys want to call it. It's something I love doing and something which I've seen so much support from you guys and loads of you have been asking me on a daily basis to do another episode in this series. So I thought today was the day because so many amazing and exciting things have been released to Fortnite over the past week. And I've been reading so many comments from you guys saying, when are you going to do another Fortnite episode? When's the next Fortnite Mythbusting series? series and so many amazing ideas from you guys as well so I thought let's just do another video and what I've done is jam-packed this episode with so many amazing myths quite a few of them have been proven and quite a few of them have been busted so I think you guys are in for a treat and as always if you do go on to enjoy this episode then dropping a like on it would be very much appreciated especially if you do learn something new and I do think you're gonna learn something new in this video because what I have lined up is just amazing so if you guys do enjoy this video be sure to drop a a like on it that would of course be absolutely amazing the more support we get on this episode the more episodes I will bring you guys in the future and if you have not played Fortnite already then I got you guys covered because if you click the link in the description below you will actually be able to get Fortnite for free ready for you guys to play on any single supported platform it is on and of course every single install from that link will help the channel as well so it's just a win-win situation for all and I recommend you guys go and get Fortnite if you haven't played it already it's absolutely free to get via the link in the description description below. Anyway guys, let's get straight into this and starting off with one of the most popular questions I have received over the past week or so is what happens if you are knocked or down and a supply drop lands on your character? Well this is something I've been asking myself as well because will this end up being the ultimate disguise or will it of course end up being horrible news for the person who is down? Well I guess we'll have to find out in just a few more seconds so give it three, two, one, where's, there it is, there's the supply drop, and look at that guys, so the supply drop will actually land straight on the downed player, and it's actually ending up being the ultimate disguise, now of course you can't really do much whilst you are down, but if you want somewhere to hide, and there is a supply drop nearby, then for as long as no one takes that supply drop, you do actually have the ultimate disguise, because no one can see you, you are literally inside the box, which I think is awesome, and don't worry, you don't get stuck inside that box, you can crawl out of it just like I did. But guys, that myth is proven and you can actually get into a supply drop by being knocked and letting one land on top of you. Okay, so next up, this one is something I just saw and I was thinking to myself, we gotta try this. I've seen a few of you guys ask me to do this. I have the opportunity to try this because we just picked up C4, so I decided to find out if it would stick to my teammates and unfortunately, to my disappointment, it doesn't stick to teammates. As you can see, it just goes straight through them. Now, I'm not too sure if Fortnite did this deliberately because I think it would have been pretty cool to be able to stick Fortnite to players and have them run into houses and stuff and just kind of set up your own trap on your teammate. That would be really funny to do but I'm not too sure why Fortnite removed that because they could have easily added that in and there must have been a discussion somewhere about whether we should allow teammates to put C4 on each other because it works in so many other games and it's just such a fun trap to have but unfortunately it does not work in Fortnite. And next up this question I have been getting so much over the past few days and rightfully so even at my meet and greet at insomnia a few of you guys were asking me about this and it's just a really interesting question and this is what happens if you put a boogie on someone who is firing a guided missile I, I mean it's an awesome question and look at this guys it actually removes them from the missile it detaches them automatically so you can't guide the missile anymore it just goes off as a normal missile would and then we decide to try out if impulses would affect guided missiles as well and to our surprise as you will see they do actually affect guided missiles my friend put down an impulse and it got stuck in the tree look at that it, it's just oh, it looks so weird we were so surprised like whoa okay did that actually happen so if you want a guided missile to get away from you of course you can shoot it down you can do so many things to it but if you throw an impulse at the guided missile it will it will not go anywhere near you it will go straight into the sky change direction direction and, and it just completely ruins the course of that missile which I think is awesome. So boogies and impulses both affect guided missiles. I've seen a few of you guys ask me this question and this is if you can see your buildings on spawn island whilst you are in the actual game and it's just an interesting question. It doesn't really affect anything but this interested me enough to make this into the myth busting episode and for me to test this out and I did this twice and I made sure that my buildings weren't destroyed on 
on Spawn Island. And as you guys can see, you can't see anything from the sky. You literally can't see anything on Spawn Island. It's just disappeared. So I was thinking to myself, okay, maybe someone destroyed it. Let's do it again. And I actually look back at this one this time. And once again, it wasn't destroyed. I kept the location as well. And when I looked back down at Spawn Island, it wasn't there. So unfortunately, you can't see your buildings on Spawn Island if you do end up looking back down at them when you get onto the bus. So this myth has been busted. Probably for the funniest myth in this episode, this is what happens if you equip a bush and go on a launch pad. Now we actually were fortunate enough to have the opportunity to do this. We weren't planning on doing this in this episode, but after trying it out, I'm glad I did. And I'm glad we managed to record this because you can actually go on a launch pad whilst you are a bush. And it's quite a funny sight to look at because I'm literally flying through the sky as a bush. And I was laughing for the entire time of this as well. So you can actually go on launch pads whilst you have a bush equipped to your character. And you can also do emotes as well. So you can do some pretty funny things whilst you're a bush. And so many of these things are things players don't even know about yet. This next myth, once again, I've seen a bunch of you guys ask me to do this myth over the past few days or so. But with the addition of the guided missile, this myth has been increasing and increasing itself in the comments of my previous episodes. And this is whether you can rocket ride a supply drop in Fortnite. It's a pretty interesting question and I honestly think with the guided missile you can actually do this. So after attempting this, as you can see, I get extremely close to this supply drop and unfortunately you can't actually rocket ride supply drops in Fortnite. You can't do it at all. I believe what would happen is that it would either explode on the supply drop or it would go straight under it, but you can't actually rocket ride them, which is a shame because I was hoping you could have done that, but unfortunately I did test this out and you can't rocket ride supply drops even with those guided missiles which were just added into Fortnite. And of course the vending machines came out today and I love these things. Like I really enjoy the fact that we have vending machines in Fortnite. It's a great new concept and aspect to this game. But the first thing I thought of when I saw these vending machines is what would happen if you destroyed it? Because it's a vending machine. You would think to yourself if you destroyed the vending machine things would fall out of it and items would surround the ground. And this machine has quite a bit of loot so I thought to myself maybe if I destroy this machine I'll be able to get this loot and I wouldn't have to do anything like I wouldn't have to pay the materials etc I would just get the loot as is if I destroyed the machine so first off I decided to use my axe and unfortunately it looks like you can't actually do anything with the axe in Fortnite it won't do anything to the machine so I decided to amp this up a little bit let's put down some C4 and see if that does anything and even after using my C4 it destroyed everything else around this machine but not the vending machine itself. So it looks like the vending machine is actually invincible and you can't destroy this machine whatever you guys try and do. But what I have seen are some clips online of people who have actually somehow destroyed this, whether it's a glitch or something. I don't think they're meant to destroy it, but some people have destroyed this. And upon destroying the vending machine, I can confirm that nothing came out of the machine at the end. So if you guys are wondering what happens if you destroy the vending machine, literally nothing happens. Nothing will come out of the machine and you won't get any free loot from the machine unless you do you end up paying for it using the resources. So unfortunately, you can't destroy vending machines. And last but not least, this was a very popular question I've been getting over the past few weeks. It was actually meant to be put in my previous myth busting episode, but for some reason, I didn't include it in that episode. And this myth is about what happens if you were to land from a crazy height onto a teammate or another player in Fortnite. So I decided to try this out. I got three of my friends to stand below me and I jumped off this height uh, fairly high up. I mean, if I did hit the ground then of course this would happen and of course I did get taken out. Now I was very surprised at this. I thought if you do end up launching yourself from a height and landing on your teammates you would be A-OK. -okay. My friend tried this and of course he was knocked down as well and I decided to even try this on my downed teammate. I was thinking to myself okay maybe there's a trick or something. Maybe if your teammate's down you're able to jump on their back and not take any damage and I thought to myself this, this has to be a thing. I've heard stories about people doing this. Please be real. But even as after trying this out again, as you guys will see, it just it takes me out instantly. The moment I hit the ground, it doesn't do any difference whether I land on my teammate or land on the ground, as you guys can see right there. Now, I actually got pretty accurate on every single one of those tries. If you guys want to try this out for yourself, you guys totally can do, but I am fairly confident that you will still take falling damage even if you land on your teammate or land on the ground. There's no difference whatsoever. And I was very surprised about this myth because I thought that if you landed on a teammate, you wouldn't take any sort of falling damage, but unfortunately that is not the case.
case. And this last one, this is kind of like a bonus clip because I wouldn't really class it as a myth, maybe a trick or something, but this is to see what happens if your current structure is breaking apart and just before it gets to you, you attach the structure to a mountain. It's something a lot of players forget about. They think to themselves, oh no, I'm doomed, I'm gonna fall down. But all you have to do is attach the top of it to something and it will stop destroying itself. You'll be a-okay, you won't be doomed, you won't go down to the ground, take loads of falling damage, etc. You'll be a-okay. And it's just one of those tricks I wanted to let you guys know about because, of course, it's kind of general knowledge. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know about this, but we kind of need reminding about this because we find ourselves in many of these situations where we think we're doomed even though we're just a few blocks away from a mountain or a tree or just anything we could have attached it to. So just try and remember that trick in the back of your head or something. You know, it's not the major, it's not the biggest trick or anything else like that, but it's something which can easily be forgotten in the moment. But guys, that's everything I've got for you today. And if you did enjoy this episode, then dropping a like on it would be very much appreciated. And I recommend you press that subscribe button just below this video as well. I just want to say I don't post Fortnite on a daily basis. I do a video like once or twice a week or so. But whenever I do do a Fortnite video, I make sure that it's the best it can possibly be. I won't post the video unless I'm confident or happy with it. So if you would like to stay updated on quality Fortnite videos, then I recommend you guys subscribe for that. And let me know in the comments section below any other myths or anything you would like to see me test out or try out in Fortnite. And you never know, guys, your idea might make it into the next episode. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you did learn something new, dropping a like on this video would be very much appreciated. And this is a blooper, something which we tried to film in this compilation. I included one in the last episode. Loads of you guys loved it. So I decided to add the next one into this episode. And this is to find out what happens if someone throws a boogie at you whilst you are gliding. And unfortunately, we did try this. I've seen this question so many times. We did try this, guys. But unfortunately, we didn't really get the timing right. And it just, it didn't work for us. So we decided to put this one to rest. We might see it in the next compilation. We'll never know, guys. But I was gutted that I didn't get it filmed because it's such a popular idea. Loads of you guys have been asking me to do it and I, I really wanted to get it done, but it, it's just so difficult to get it recorded because the, the timing and everything is so difficult to line up. But guys, other than that, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.